morning guys and welcome to today's video today is saturday and we are going to be doing a live video today um i'm excited but before we do that i need to get on with all of my chores my house is a mess you guys don't look around too much because it's a mess first things first though i have to bring isabel in my little izzy give her watermelon this morning and it looks like she ate it all up hi isabel hi izzy so mine's sweet girl. So this entire thing was full. So she's eating, but she's skinny still. Typically, if she comes to the front of the cage because she knows I'm going to take her in. And she usually, oh, there she goes. She usually comes right out to the door. Because this girl, this girl likes to go in the house. Isabel's absolute favorite place to sleep is up here on the couch. She literally climbs up on the couch all by herself. She stands at the bottom. And she jumps up onto the couch, and then she jumps up there, and she makes a little nest for herself. Come here. A lot of you guys have been asking where the heck are our little dogs. They are here. We don't do a lot of vlogging at night. That's when we do our editing, so not everybody um, sees them. We don't show them all the time, but they are all here. They are our nighttime pets, aren't you? Aren't you? I worry about them down at the horse barn because... Um, you might not know this, but they could get trampled because they don't move out of the way of the horses like Hendrix does. And so I do worry about them for sure. Anyway, today's video is all about getting our horses ready for camping. It is almost the second week of August and yeah, it's time. If you guys remember that last year we spent some time before we went camping getting our horses ready and so we're doing it again this year this year i am working with a whole new horse like the differences from last year crazy last year we only had stella and i had um a betsy my bike and now i have my own horse and we all have horses and um I need to get Finn and Sophie ready for the trails, and that's what today is going to be all about. All right, you guys, we are getting ready for our live stream. We are not technically advanced family. We are just not. Like, we have a YouTube channel, uh, Instagram, a Facebook, a Snapchat that we never use, and yeah, it, it was, yeah. The camera screen on the, on the camera broke, and now we're going live with Izzy. Right, and, Izzy? And. 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 And, Macy. and um, where's Toby? Toby! He's in his cage. He's in his I don't know why he does that. He always goes in there. Toby, come here! You when you walk Toby! <laughs> Are you gassy? If you poop on me, I'm going. <laughs> if she poops, if, if she pecks so much, like, I'm going to eat her. If, if she poops on you, Sophie, it will not be the first time that uh, Animal has pooped on somebody <laughs> in a video. Do you guys remember? <laughs> Come on. Come on. I know you want to. I know it's really hard for you. Come on. Come on. Good boy. You're almost there. I can't reach any further. Come on. You're almost here. You're almost here. You're almost here. Oh, the girls are pushing me. I got you. Do you guys remember when we had that little rescue bird, Romeo, and we were doing a video, and he, a question and answer, I think, and he pooped right on my head in the middle of the Q&A, yeah. And pooped on my head right in the middle of no, the video. No, he went, whoop. Yeah. Turned around <laughs> and pooped so that his butt was facing the no, camera. No, 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 no. He went, poop. Don't you poop on me. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Mother Nature is not my friend. I had to go to the um, gas station and to get some stuff. And they had a free barbecue, so I got a hamburger for Gabby. And I'm like, as soon as we get back at Sophia, you tack up your horse, because I am. We are going into a trail riding journey to get that horse and this rider ready for our trip. And of course, when you know it, the minute we started driving home, it's raining. It's raining. Like, what the heck, Mother Nature? You are foiling my attempts to make Finn and Sophie good. Me and Finn are good as long as you don't walk with us at the beginning. Or in the middle. You don't want me to walk with you? Well, if you walk with me at the beginning and at the end, other ones you leave, Ben has a heart attack. And so does Sophie. And then when you don't do that, me and I trust Ben more. Pull the water bucket. I'll be up to his leader of pride like that. First things first, be a realist. No, that's the I'm so fine with remix. That. It's guys like making songs, but into like farmer songs. I was sad because of 
You almost oh, died? Yeah. She's had almost stall guard. Oh my and then at the beat drop in the first couple seconds in this video, Finn ran through it. But it didn't break. I don't know how he went through. Basically, it was like that tall. And then one like there. He walked right through. I don't know. It stayed on though. I don't know how he got He went through. under it. No. It was like that. That short. How did you hook it up? She hooked it up to the stall. Which... I'm like, nah. It wasn't even breakaway. All right, let's get going. Finn. Finn, just, Finn, Finn is a midget. He can get to anything. He can. Apparently. So, I like Palominos. They're not my favorite color, though. Palominos are dumb. Oh, Gracie Palomino is nice. He's blonde. He's dumb. We're getting closer. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so true. So true, though. Like, Finn is not dumb. He's not dumb at all. But... You know how they say like blondes are more scatterbrained? I'm I'm shaken. I, I feel like Finn is kind of scatterbrained. How did you almost die though? How? She was so standing. I, I was standing like right here. Finn decided, so I I quickly jumped out of the way. Did he almost, almost run over. you over? Oh yeah. Finn, uh, this is a problem with you. Like oh, Storm was dancing. He was doing this. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked yesterday, why was Sophie moving her hands around the horses? They tried to make it seem like you were abusing horses in the field. And what we do sometimes is what? When the horses are too Give close us to space. us, we wave our hands so to we get... we wave them like that, and if they get any closer, they bump into your hand. Yeah, so this... And that is... makes them learn that, oh, when she does this, yeah. it's her space. Some pe so this is what we do when I'm the horses shaking. are invading our space. All right, well, get going, because you're not going to be shaking, shaking longer. Get out of the shaking mode because uh, you are oh, about to. Because he, uh, he almost killed me. No, let's do it. Come on. There is no almost killing here. Finn, do not almost kill anybody again. Time has been so hard on us, my friend. Sun goes down, but we get back. In all seriousness, though, horses are, like, hard because... Every time you add one, it changes the dimensions of your whole setup, your herd, everything. You guys all need water. Like, what the heck? And so, and the tricky part about buying a horse is that you can never have all the answers to all the unknown questions that you need before you decide. So you have to decide blindly. You have to decide blindly. Like, even when you're the most horse expert person, there's still an element of blindness happening when you buy a horse. So if we were to buy a certain horse to keep Willow company so that we could take our three horses out places with us when we wanted to go, I don't know. Like there's just so many elements of, of I don't know, like, oh, it's hard. It's hard to figure it all out because there's so many things that you don't know in, in advance, but buying an, a horse that you already know and you know most of the problems that they have, it's so much better than just buying somebody's horse that you don't know. But anyway, yeah, we're getting ready. I'm kicking this into high gear. Stella, no, not Stella, Finn and Sophie are about to learn to trail ride on their own so that we have a really good trip. If you guys can see, Stella be looking good again. I don't know if you guys can see. So she does have a tiny bit of a rib look every once in a while. Stella, what happened to your head? Um, and it's just like if she stands a certain way and I think that's okay because she has fat everywhere else. It's just that she has a big barreled horse. So to have a lot of fat on her barrel means that she has even more fat everywhere else. Kind of like people who have a skinny waist and a big butt. She's got a big belly, right? Um, uh, but she looks better. She looks a lot better with me feeding her than with Sam feeding her. Right, Stella? Mama's going to take care of you. Anyway, we are on the journey of, Stor of Finn and Sophie right now. So let's get to it.
right, lesson number one, do not ride your horse if your horse is not ready to be ridden. Never ride when your horses are hungry and it doesn't ever work out. But to every night we keep on dancing. Stella, are you gonna have a ride? Alright, so uh, basically Finn said no. Finn said you are not riding me. Basically, oh my god, it's raining. Oh gosh. Stay has been horrible. So when Sophie tried to get on Finn, he basically looked at her. Oh, I thought he was gonna sit down there for a second. He basically looked at her and said, oh, not on my life. And then he was like already trying to get her off before. Back up. Now you get to ride in the wet and the rain, dude. Very exciting. I feel like God's trying to tell us not to ride today. I know. Come over here. You want me to help? No, I'm talking to you. I need to do this by myself because if he calls me over, he's just going to do that every single day. That was painful to let on. It was. Not very painful. It was like, it was like, ugh. Oh, he's good. Yeah, he's trying to let you not ride. Oh, 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 oh. He's got a lot of energy, I think, Gabby. Go back. Go ballad. Oh, God. Sophie, are you getting on Gabby's saddle? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do We're riding here. Oh. Finn's not even look at Finn's out there all by himself. Yeah, so this is what happens after this is how he is after he eats. I'm telling you, we know our horses. Finn does not ride well without a big meal in his belly. Now he's out there riding in the rain with cars going by. It's okay, Stella. It's okay. It's just rain on the roof. Well, all I know is Gabby's saddle's getting soaked. Okay, bring Stella back in for a minute because he can't ride enough. you off. Oh, all right, go back out there. Okay, keep going. But to every night we keep on dancing. Trouble is a silly thing. It always ends up sneaking. But would you it's like the summer never ends. No matter what they call it. That boy's riding out there with no other horses, you guys. Just gotta feed him first. something we need it's a leap of faith a step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave so take a look around you how far can you see how far do you think you can run standing on your knees it's a beautiful world out there and just don't pass on the dare you have the will and the moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a 
Gabby's out there wanting to do learn something. She wants to learn how to pony somebody and trot. And Selfie's all like, help, help, she's doing whatever she wants with me. Jen's great though. There's something you don't know. You need a little enlightening. It'll make you grow. It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the day If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there oh, It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the day If you have the will and a moment to spare Okay, the battery is dying. The girls are doing really well. Gabby's teaching Sophie how to handle cantering around the, the uh, property. Anyway, that is it for today because my battery's dying. Peace, love, and happiness, you guys. Just be kind. It's a beautiful world out there. Oh, if you have the will and the moment to spare. It's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.